for Stacy's quilt and it just so happens this is the weekend she got engaged. Isn't that serendipitous? So here are our fabrics. She wants a country motif. So she wanted yellow, like a dark red, um, and a brown. And I needed to pop it with a little green. So I've added some green and it's kind of a country um, look to it. And then I had to decide what pattern I was going to use. So here are some of the patterns I am considering. These will be what the squares would look like. So I'm trying to decide which one. I like them all, but since I am going to be using predominantly more of the yellow to keep it bright and, um, and it will have um, lattice with the yellow, I think I am going to go with this one right here. Now that's not the colors. This will be yellow. This will be, I think this will be brown. This will be red. And this will be green. So that the yellow won't compete with when I put lattice between it. So that's my intention. And I am going to keep you informed as I go. All right? Bye. Okay, here I am. I'm watching Born Identity. I've seen it before, but what the heck. Because all I'm doing right now is sorting squares. These are all the brown and yellow squares. These are all the green and brown squares. And those are the red squares. So now, I start putting them together. The hard part is the cutting. So that part's done. Now it's just a breeze. All right, more to be revealed. Okay, one square down. 14 to go. I think it's pretty. Looks like a little spinning uh, pinwheel. I like your color, Stace. Okay, here we are. I'm just sewing the little squares now. Uh oh. And I'm um, watching a movie called Passenger, but my stupid internet connection got interrupted right at a good part. I hate when that happens. So here are all the squares that are going to be lined up. See, these are the ones that are already done. I'm speed sewing now, my favorite thing to do. Or to be real. Okay, it's. 12 midnight and all the squares are done and ironed and ready for assembly. So I have one square done and soon you'll see 14 more little critters. Good night, sweet dreams. Watching the Winter Olympics, which is a great thing to do. All the squares are done, but I gotta tell you, what a bummer. I did six of the squares and didn't realize that I had put one corner on backwards and I was using it as my template, which means not just one, but six of them were backwards. Bummer, 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 bummer. So I got those all ripped out, which is good. Didn't take too long. I did consider just leaving them, but ooh, there's an E-Trade, Jim's favorite commercials. Um, but I decided not to do that. So here is the original that we're, we're using. All of them do look that way. That is a good thing. So all the squares are done. Now it's a matter of putting the lattice on. And I decided to do an interesting lattice. I decided not to do a boring lattice. So here are the squares that are starting to come together. They've got uh, the yellow and red to really kind of pop the quilt. That's what I think. So I hope to have all of the lattice done tonight. Oh, this is coming together so much fun. Monday. And it's got a lot of the Winter Olympics in it. 
Because as I've been sewing, I have been watching the Winter Olympics. So you might even find a couple flaws in there as I'm watching and going, Oh my God! Uh, it might have stitched a little funky, but I think for the most part, it is good to go. Now I just have to back it and quilt it. Yahoo! Time for a bird theme. This is the last, the second to the last step to making a quilt. It's called birthing it. And that's when I've taken the top and I picked a really pretty, soft, yellow, minky fabric. Minky fabric is like the softest fabric around. And as you can see, it's got little nubbies on it. And I think it's going to go really nice with this quill top. It kind of gives it a bright look along with the earthy tones and the browns and the greens. So, we'll see as yes, it gets birthed. After we birth it, then, oopsie, I heard a little bit. After we birth it, then we quilt it. And then it gets shipped to Stacy and Tim for 2010, the year that they get engaged, and it happens to be in February. It is February 16th right now, just a couple days shy of Valentine's Day, the day of love. So, all right, pushing the corners out. Making sure that it is nice and pointy. I already squared them off. All right, so there it is. Isn't it pretty? I think it's very pretty. And then here's the back. Oh, it's nice and soft and woolly warm. And it's kind of cold right now, so this will come in mighty handy as we have cool weather. All right, one last thing to do, the quilting. I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow. It's pretty, bye. Have closed up the end where I birthed it and I have to pin each square, three or four pins in each square before I can run it through the sewing machine and quilt it. Otherwise it will be all bunchy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just pinning, 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 pinning. Okay, it is February 22nd and the quilting is complete. I got a little way late. I had a visitor, so I didn't get to finish as quickly as I wanted, but it is done. And the back of it is in a soft little minky with little bumps on it really soft and pretty so it is quilted and now i am throwing it in the wash yes i am giving it a nice little bubble bath so it's going to smell nice and pretty so in she goes let's pray she comes out the way she goes in nice and beautiful all right Good luck. Okay, fantastic. Came out of the wash just as beautiful as can be, and it smells so nice. So, just one last thing to do. I am just going to put a little message on the quilt, and it is off in the mail tomorrow to Stacy and Tim. Yahoo! Bye. Okay, the box is labeled and it is headed to the post office tomorrow. I hope you like it, Stace. Bye.